Hello, and welcome to my newest series, The Making of Musical Magic, Making Music Magical Again. Today, I will be showcasing this instrument. It is called the Sub-37, and it's the Bob Moog Tribute Edition. And as you can see, this is a Moog synthesizer. If you turn around and look, you can see there, there it is, the logo. So, now, first thing you have to do to play this instrument, besides buying it, is turning it on. Make sure when you turn it on, the volume is in the down off zero position. Here we have the power button. Turn on the power button. Oh my god. So it makes a noise and all the lights fire up. And as you can see, it's got lots of knobs. It's got more knobs than keys. And it's got this screen, which you can barely see. As a comparison, if you look at the piano, my piano has a lot fewer knobs oh, than keys. It's got a lot more keys than knobs. Maybe in a future episode of Making Music Magical, Making Music Magic Musical again, I will feature this instrument. Or this instrument. But today, I will focus on the Moog Sub 37. Turn up volume. I'll put it on two. I press this key, the E key, to make a noise. That was the C scale. Now, it just so happens to be on the organ preset. But there are several presets that we could use. Here is, we press that. There's all these preset boxes, and they have several, several presets in them themselves. This brought me up to Craft Labor Bank to preset one. So let's move the cursor to Bank, and this is the very first It is called Rhythmic Fifth Filtration. This preset seems to use the arpeggiator. Or not. Now, 
No, it does. It uses slope. And uh, flow rate without zero. Okay. So I misunderstood it first. It does not use the arpeggiator. It uses the LFO rate and slope to achieve those rhythmic sounds you heard. After disabling them, it sounds normal. Oh my gosh, that's, that's happens if you turn it all the way up. So let's put it on three. Mm, six. Too fast. And not perfectly, but you could hear I have more or less recreated the sound. But what was that arpeggiator, you may be asking? So let's once again disable the slope and the LFO rates. That's just me pressing the keys. Okay. This is the odd button for the arpeggiator. Now it has that rhythmic sound, which was somewhat similar to what you heard before. There's a daub here that contains the pattern. Go down, up, or inside out, or whatever. You also want to choose this for the speed. Which is a little fast. The next thing is these. This is if you want to go up, in pitch, or down. So you press it, you can go up twice. As you can see, by only holding down one key, C key, I'm getting all these notes. Depending on the pattern I choose, those notes will change. Now, here is something extremely cool. I'm going to press two keys at one time. So, as you can see, the music kind of makes itself once you have it set up correctly. 
before the Dio fight, you do not necessarily have to do that because it has all these presets which I just brought up earlier. The next preset will sound like this. And you could say, well, that's uh, okay, but let's see what else there is. Seeker of Truth. Just by listening to it, I can tell that the arpeggiator is being used. And this time, I'm actually correct. Unlike the first time when I got pumped. I can turn it off. And it just as this. Now, you may be wondering why it's just doing this. It's not holding the note. Oh, this probably has something to do with these keys over, uh, knobs over here. It's not sustaining. Uh, I think this might be the reason. There's also decay, attack, and release. After that, let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> just got punked again. Um, let's see. There's also this set here. So we'll play with these. That was it. Now you may be wondering why there are two sets. And I got punked because of it. Let's see, there are two modulators. These are responsible for giving me the sounds. So, starting with this, I'll change that and see what I hear. Not too much difference, but if I try LFO2, not much difference. Uh, try some different waves. Uh, these are the oscillators. Kind of sounds like some early 80s, maybe Devo music. Um, if I change the notes. Does that good, good, which I demonstrated before. But when you turn it to zero, it'll just do that. The octave changes the pitch from high to low. Because with this you only get 37 keys, but with that piano, you get, you get a full keyboard of 80 keys, 82 keys. With this, you don't. So, 
You can, though, by having the octave take you to the lowest. Pop that up to the highest. So it all depends on your personal preference. Most people want to play in the middle. So you put that on 8, and you put that on the middle, and you're playing in the middle. And even that's kind of loud. Now, get a new sound. Here he comes. And if you want to learn how they made these sounds, you have to play with the knobs and see what they did is the secret. Now, well, the first clue are what lights are lit up. The knobs will not give you any inclination because these stay constant. These do not change when you change this. The sound does, but the knobs themselves don't. They don't automatically move on their own. So you have to move them. And after doing that, you can tell I've got a new sound. Arpeggiators on, but not move there. So let's try down and get once. So a very weird sound. rate might be responsible. As you can see, I'm just moving like different keys. Click that. Try alpha right. Let's try alpha right. Now I'm gonna get it so much more durable. Let's see. I Turn off dual mode. What if I turn off all these? I think what's making it sound different now is this noise actually. <laughs> turn them all off, you get nothing. Because you, let's turn the oscillator one on. Turn the volume up. It's very similar to the natural sound of the synthesizer, which is the initial preset. This is the sound with no, nothing special done to it. Nothing special, just the normal sound, and mm -hmm. 
still perfectly fine on its own. But it's fun to experiment. And one of the best ways to get it to sound different is to turn on the arpeggiator. And then we're gonna do that to the two. Oh. <laughs> To get back to an initial preset, just press up and down, and there's all these which are programmable. So if you make your own silly noise, like I did, I could click the save button and rename it whatever I wanted and keep it in there. As one last example, you turn it back to normal. If you hold down a note and then you press this, make the pitch go up and down, which is also similar to. This pitch. Now, as you can see, there are several more knobs that we have not gone over yet. It would be my pleasure if you would join me on a very special episode of making music magic music magical again in part two coming up in the following days to come thank you all for your time in discovering this new instrument the sub 37 by Bug.